great to just be back and actually have the ability to throw. Playing football, uh, full contact spring camp in late June last year and I was playing outside linebacker, went in to make a tackle and got my arm wrapped up in somebody's legs instead of my shoulder and it tore my shoulder out of socket. Tore the labrum, tore my bicep tendon and uh, some more ligaments or something across the front of it. Did you know it was that bad? So, crap, that's my jab arm. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think it was anything bad, I just thought it was just kind of a stinger and just kind of went off on the side and we pulled my pads off and then we saw it was out of socket. It was a fairly traumatic injury. I mean, uh, my first thought is the safety and well-being of him. You know, the javelin, football, all that stuff secondary, but he's still got a life to live way beyond this. So from that aspect of it, I don't think he'll play football again. And main reason being is because the nature of his injury, if he was to get hit the same way in football, it would do traumatic injury. The unique thing about the javelin, it has kind of the same range of motion and has a certain tendency to pull that way. But according to the doctor, it's not going to damage his arm any worse. So right now we're in a point where we're redeveloping his form. We're going back through and strengthening his arm. We're working on getting him to use it and not hesitate because he feels it. A little bit nervous getting back into it. Dealing with it was one of those kind of things that was very hard from the beginning because you are looking at x-rays, you're talking to doctors, they're talking percentages, they're talking about long recovery, they're talking about possibilities. And once he realized that he could move it, and once he realized that when they said, well, you know, you're going to have to wait six weeks to do this, and he was doing it in three weeks, that was a huge difference. It takes a lot to come back from an injury like that and step back out there and try something. Um, there's always hesitation um, and, you know, inspiration. I mean, he's the kind of kid that all these guys are looking up to because we, we go to different meets now and the meets that we're going to are friends of his that are competitive throwers that are all throwing in the high 80s, high 90s. And they all knew that Nick was throwing that far last year at the end. Other than going over there and, you know, making a jest of it because you only threw a certain distance, they're all giving him a little bit of pats and saying, you know, hey, you can do better, you're going to do better, you're just going to come back. And it's a competitive sport, but they're all a family. They all want to compete against each other. And you don't want to beat anybody unless it's their best day. Oh! He's really progressing really well. We're kind of right on stage where we want to be. I feel the strength is back in it. We're still working on the mobility aspect, you know. We're starting to get back into more of the heavy throwing now. He's positive, and he's always been positive. And being positive with an injury like this is the thing that makes the recuperation faster. My goal is to break 200. Um, you know, that's been our goal all this time. There's no guarantees, obviously, but that's what we're shooting for. What do I got to lose? It's my senior year.